Okay, so today I am here in downtown Dayton at Mendelssohn's and I'm talking with Mr. Sandy Mendelssohn, the owner of the business. And uh, you guys are getting ready to sell, or you did sell the business, right? We sold the building. We sold the building. Yes, correct. Uh huh. Now, how long have you guys been here? We've been in this building alone 40 years. And before that, we're on 3rd and Keeley for probably 10 years. And then we're on uh, Linden Avenue for five years. We've been downtown Dayton since 1960. 1960. What exactly is Mendelssohn's for those that don't know? What we do, we buy up surplus liquidation all over the world, bring it into our stores, sell it, remarket product, all from electronics, electrical, furniture. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time, and it's the, the, the realm was so big what we've bought over the years. This building is 500 and some thousand square feet, filled the brim full of merchandise, and we're getting ready to start liquidating everything to uh, sell the building to Crop and Hoyne, who are developing a lot of property downtown. This will be a great development for Dayton. It'll be the building of the future. They're going to put over $150 million in this property, and this will make Dayton really shine because it's really going to get the millenniums to come back downtown. The uh, it's Companies are coming in. Offices are coming in. It's just what Dayton is needed. And I'm so excited that uh, they came to the plane and made a decision to buy the building and give us give me a chance to retire. Okay, so speaking of retiring, um, what are your plans once you leave? Well, once I leave, it's going to take, take some time off, of course. It's going to take roughly a year we have to get the building empty. And then I've got to just go take it easy for a little while. Okay, do you have any special place that you plan to retire? Well, we like to go, we don't retire, we won't, we'll just go down to Florida like everybody else does and we do some boating and some fishing and swimming, just enjoying our, our old age. Now, you truly are an icon in the community. It seems like you ask people in the street, do you know about Mendelssohn's? And everybody seems to know about Mendelssohn's and they all have their stories to tell about how long you've been here and I've been in uh, the upper floors and some of the things you have up there are very eclectic and um, they're for the diehards, right? Well, like the, our, our tagline says, first place to look for every last thing. Uh, we have so many different things. We go back to stuff a uh, hundred years old, some is ten years old. People today uh, have not had the experience they need to do is, is rebuild things, fix things. Years ago they fixed everything. Today everyone throws away everything. Uh, I wish it stayed the old way. Uh, everyone had worked with their hands, now they work with their iPad. If the whole world has changed a different way and I guess uh, they're going the right direction, I'm going the retirement direction. Okay. Now, earlier you said uh, that you have sold things uh, to um, out of the country, right? Oh, we've sold stuff to Canada, sold stuff to Germany, sold stuff to England, uh, China, of course, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Uh, there's a country we haven't touched in the last 50, 60 years. My goodness. Now, before... Um, talking to you right now I was talking to your wife a little bit and she was telling me she has been by your side all those years helping you with a business right right uh, she was uh, she's one of the part owners in the building with me uh -huh. and my two children Harlan and Heather they work here too mm -hmm. and they're gonna take part of the company and do something they want to do uh -huh. and me and mama could do nothing <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good well, since she's been here a long time, we've been married 50-some years now. Uh-huh. And uh, we grew up together and stayed together. We're still together. It's working together and living together, it's a tough road, but it, uh, you just got to put up with it and make it work. Now, do you have any, um, all the years you've been here, what is the uh, strangest or oddest thing that you have sold that you can remember? Um, last year I sold 5,000 body bags. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, no Do bodies in the bodies weren't there, brand new. Uh, we sell aircraft parts, 
We sell uh, NCR parts, GM parts, all the stuff we bought over the years. When the plants were in Dayton, Dayton was a hub for industry. So when things were really going good here, we were buying up all their surplus. So we have a tremendous amount of the old NCR stuff, old GM stuff. And people come in buy some of the stuff for sentimental reasons and, and just to have a part of the, the, the past. Right. Now, how long do you think it'll take before you liquidate everything? We have to be out of this building by September 3rd. Oh. Now, what happens with the items that don't get liquidated? Well, uh, some will go to scraps. A lot of stuff will be donating to charities if they want it. Uh, there's a lot of need in Dayton for helping people after the hurricane. and uh, I mean, the hurricane tornado, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. some of the problems we've had there. Uh, Dane's our family. We, we, we've been here all of our lives, and we help a lot of people out of the family. And uh, we will be in the forefront of you know, donating stuff to various groups who can use stuff. We want to see the stuff go to good use. Bing Davis is a very, very close friend of mine. He's the head of the arts uh, at the Central State. Uh, he was my high school art teacher. And I donate a lot of stuff for him to make uh, three-dimensional art out of and everything. He's world-renowned. World, world and uh, that's one of his paintings right there he gave me. Oh, okay. And, and uh, Bing comes in all the time and picks up, uh, make electronic uh, three-dimensional sculptures. Yeah. Yeah, I know about Bing. Uh, he has his um, art gallery on 3rd Street, That's right? correct. I go down and we see him, and I've known him since 1960. 1960. Now, friends. So you'll continue to have roots in Dayton? Oh, of course, yes. Dayton's my town. We we helped in the, build the synagogue in Dayton. We've helped a lot of things we've done here. Dayton is a great place. Uh, it's a good to raise a family. And one thing about Dayton, everyone gets along. Uh, yeah. It's a great crossroads of the country. Now, how will you feel when you finally hand over the keys? Well... It's going to be a two-way street. I'm going to feel great one day and bad the next day because uh, my life is here. I've been here so long. But uh, the people who bought the building do some very good with it. And they will help Dayton. That's what we care about. Right. It wasn't just about price. It's about the people who can perform and say what they're going to do. Crawford Home bought my other building next door here. They bought it, remodeled, fixed it up. They were filled up in 30 days. Uh -huh. There's a demand to be downtown for good product. And these people know how to build a good quality product. They represent their customers very well. I'm very thrilled that Crop and Horn is going to be here on site running this business. It'll take a couple years to get this thing done. Mm -hmm. And when it's done, it'll be a showpiece. Now, your uh, office right here, it's full of history. I see all your little pictures and things like that. I mean, I, I imagine you're going to have a little bit of sadness leaving oh, it all behind. Of huh? course, you gotta, you got to realize a lot of people came through these doors where we started with nothing, everybody, and mm -hmm. we worked hard. And uh, we've touched a lot of people on the way. A lot of good things have been said. There's a few people who will never be happy, but 99% of our customers and other people are very happy with what we've done. We, we have a good name in Dayton. We work very hard to keep our name right where it should be on top. And, and I'm glad that um, Dayton is being built up. We need stuff like that, right? Well, we had Reichs, we had Lazarus, we had uh, Sears, we had uh, all this going on now. It's all gone now. But it's not not just Dayton, it's gone over the country. Mm -hmm. Now we're bringing it back downtown. There's over a thousand new residents been built in Dayton the last 10 years. Then we have a thousand to 1,500 more residents built downtown. Mm hmm also, I own the Top of the Market Banquet Center over on with 3rd and Webster. We're doing two weddings this weekend. We have 500 people for two weddings. So mm -hmm. we're still investing in Dayton. I still own property and doing other business mm -hmm. in Dayton. So I'll be around. I want. It's just... Yeah, we want you around, Sandy. <laughs> um, listen, I want to thank you for um, sitting down for a bit. You are such a busy man. Um, I've come twice to look for you and you're such a busy person um and i thank you for taking the time to sit in with me and doing this little video and um i just say i want to wish you and your wife many years of happy retirement 
and go soak up some of that Florida sun, right? That's right. Thank you very much for doing this to help the community. We're all in this this thing together. If we can, I can help you, and what I'm saying can help another person. Don't ever realize you can't do it on your own. I started when I was 19 years old with no money and built this empire. With it no money? No, we, we owe $10,000 the day my dad died when I was 19 years old. So How, uh, how do you build this from nothing? You, you show up every day and you work. It's not well, hard. Those are very good values. <laughs> well, I'm a high school graduate from Meadowdale, Dayton, Ohio. 1962, uh -huh. and I haven't stopped. I, I served two years in the Army and as a paramedic. I was a deputy sheriff here for, volunteer deputy sheriff for quite a few years in Dayton here. Uh -huh. Volunteer paramedic. I've, I had a lot of things to do with Dayton. It's been, it's, uh, I'm excited about the town. Well, you've had a very vast and colorful life. Very colorful. <laughs> and I thank you again for taking this time to sit and share a little bit about your story, okay? Thank you very much. Thank Have a good you. Day.